What is California-based Christina doing with a Tennessee farmhouse? And you won't believe Tarek's $2 million plus Dadchelor pad. Together or apart, Tarek and Christina have owned some swanky digs. In a personal essay for Realtor.com, Tarek El Moussa shared how he meant to spend $400,000 on his first home. But that changed when he found his perfect bachelor pad, complete with a huge master bedroom, a man cave, and a shark tank that was double his budget. Surprised to be approved for the mortgage, he signed. While El Moussa loved the house, he was broke. He wrote, with no money for furniture, I ended up living in an empty house for nearly nine months. Buying a home is exciting. So exciting, in fact, that it's all too easy to get swept up in your emotions and make some mistakes. During the early episodes of Flip or Flop, viewers saw co-host Tarek El Moussa and Christina Hall in the beautiful Yorba Linda, California home they shared with daughter Taylor. In 2016, the then-couple gave a tour of their newly renovated space to people. The renovation process took two years, Hall explained, due to construction issues and her changing her mind on the design mid-renovation. Of the look, Hall said, I personally love the rustic glam look, so it has a lot of wood elements, rock and outdoor-looking pieces, but also chandeliers, mirrored furniture, and shaggy white rugs so it has masculine and girly elements. In 2018, per the Orange County Register, Paul sold the massive 6,366-square-foot Mediterranean Stunner for $2.9 million. This was a big loss, considering they paid $2 million for the house in 2013, before spending another $1.5 million on renovations. While married to Christina, Tarek bought a yacht for nearly $1 million they named Flip or Flop. After their breakup, El Moussa changed its name to Bad Decisions. Per Realtor.com, the two-bedroom, two-bathroom houseboat includes a kitchen, spacious closets, a washer and dryer, and teak flooring. In April 2019, El Moussa shared to Instagram a photo of himself on his boat, with an inspirational caption explaining his bumpy road to success. Interestingly, the houseboat led to El Moussa meeting Heather Ray Young, who became his girlfriend and later his wife. Young said on her Netflix show Selling Sunset that the two met because their boats were docked side by side. And he was like, hi, I'm, I'm Tarek. And then we just like were texting and kept in touch. The rest is just like history. After her split from Tarek El Moussa, Christina Hall had a whirlwind relationship with and marriage to TV host and car enthusiast Ant Anstead, during which time the two purchased a five-bedroom, single-family, modern farmhouse in Newport Beach, California. How about we just celebrate moving in? Okay, just for like, for 30 minutes. I have so many ideas. Hall and Anstead added a pool, spa, water slide, outdoor kitchen, and lots of green space for the kids to play. The home's backyard was also the site of the former couple's surprise December 2018 wedding. After her divorce from Anstead in 2021, Hall listed the 4,804-square-foot Bohemian Modern Farmhouse for $6 million, as people confirmed. In May 2021, Christina Hall announced that she had purchased a second home in Tennessee for her and her three kids. She first fell in love with Tennessee when she stayed just outside of Nashville with two of her three children while visiting her friend. Hall loves the land, the fresh air, and the family-friendly atmosphere. She told People, Tennessee is gorgeous, and the people out there are so nice. Being out there on all that land reminded me of my favorite childhood memories, which were staying summers on my grandparents' farm. I felt so carefree. The home is a large modern farmhouse with lots of land. Hall said, This insanely beautiful modern farmhouse had been on the market one day, so we went and saw it and I immediately fell in love and made an offer. It's on 23 acres, super private, and has everything I could imagine and more. The HGTV star took her Instagram followers for a house tour in November 2022, where the designer's personal touches are clearly seen. After his separation from Christina, Tarek showed off his new bachelor dad pad in Costa Mesa to people. The house is located only two blocks from his ex-wife Christina Hall's then Newport Beach home, no doubt simplifying their co-parenting arrangement. 
Apparently, it was love at first sight for El Musa, who purchased the modern four-bedroom house with a pool and large driveway for $2.28 million within hours of seeing it in March 2018. He explained to people, I walked in and it had the absolute coolest bachelor pad meets family house vibes. Because he took little with him when he moved out of the house he shared with Hall, El Musa claimed that he designed and built a lot of the furniture. This included a large canopy bed in the main bedroom. His kids even had their say in decorating their rooms. It's not cheap, that's for sure. I, mean, I know it's not cheap. I spent a good amount of money here. El Musa was only a bachelor until meeting Heather Ray Young, who later moved into the house with him, per House Beautiful. In July 2020, Tarek and Heather Ray shared on Instagram that they had been staying at a beach house temporarily. Young wrote in the caption, I know you guys have been waiting to see it, a tour of our new beach home for the rest of the year. In the caption, Young explained further that she and El Musa had sold his bachelor pad in Costa Mesa. In fact, the house sold so quickly that they had to scramble to find a new place to live. She added, We found this summer beach house and fell in love with it, making new memories together in our new home. My favorite part about coming home is this area right here. Uh, not because of this really cool wall that was put in, but this is where we have all the wonderful family photos. In September 2021, people shared that Tarek and Heather had found their perfect Southern California home. Though they didn't at first intend for it to become theirs, the couple's rep told people, Tarek originally bought it as a flip, but then they decided to make it their new home. In a video shared to El Musa's Instagram story, the couple showed off their new digs pre-renovation. The highlight of the tour was the rooftop deck with views of the Pacific Ocean, which is what sealed the deal for them. I love it more than I like it. You love it more <laughs> than you like it? Give me a high five, boy. <laughs> <laughs> While the renovation was not without obstacles, including flood damage, they showed their completed house to the kids in an episode of El Musa's HGTV series, Flipping 101 with Tarek El Musa. The open concept kitchen and living area features a large island and a statement fireplace. In another Instagram post, the home's designer kitchen can be seen, with its shiny black backsplash, white cabinets, contrasting black hardware, and glam black and gold bar stools with visible studs. Tarek and Heather's adventures also include a cozy cabin they bought together when they want to get away. In a video posted to Instagram in December 2021, El Musa took their followers on a tour of their new mountain retreat, which includes lots of wood beams. Young captioned the post in part, It's so special to me to have a home in the mountains right next to where I grew up, literally next door to where my parents still live. Tarek and I love coming up here and visiting my parents with the kids. It just feels like home. New El Musa cabin. Young then revealed that they also purchased the lot next door so they could build a new house from scratch, saying that they would be breaking ground on the construction in March 2022. After listing the five-bedroom Newport Beach, California home she once shared with TV host Ann Anstead, Christina Hall was on the hunt for a new Southern California pad. This time, she wanted to live on the water. The HGTV star went with a fabulous $10 million contemporary waterfront mansion in a gated community in Dana Point, California. In August 2021, TMZ shared the details of the designer's new 6,084-square-foot waterfront oasis. The luxurious five-bedroom, seven-bathroom house was designed for indoor and outdoor entertaining, with a chef's kitchen, home theater, and game room, as well as a pool, spa, and fire pit out back overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Clean, a little more masculine, so, and I still have my boho vibe. It looks pretty. It looks beautiful. However, after marrying Josh Hall, Christina decided to sell the house and return to Newport Beach. In April 2022, she sold the house for $11.5 million after making a number of designer renovations. Despite loving the ocean view in Dana Point, Christina cited the distance to and from the kids' school as the primary motive for moving back to Newport Beach. So we have soccer Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and you guys know that the drive back and forth takes us an hour and a half every time. According to a May 2022 TMZ exclusive, the couple apparently purchased the $12 million Newport Beach property together. The nearly 7,000-square-foot home features a mid-century modern, 
U-shaped design that wraps around a central entertaining space. With a pool and jacuzzi, retractable floor-to-ceiling glass doors bring the outdoors in. In June 2022, the designer took her Instagram followers on a virtual tour, writing, We made a wish list of every single thing we wanted in a home. And then the next day, this off-market listing appeared before us, manifesting at its finest. <laughs>